Hello everyone, Computer Network Geek here again. It's time for our next Windows Server tutorial. And as promised, today we're going to tackle some more group policy. Today I'm going to show you how to use the interactive login options in group policy so we can further secure our workstations and follow um, AUPs that your company may have set. Anyway, let's begin. So there's a lot of options here that we're going to take a look at. One that's uh, a good one to take a look at is uh, dis do not display last username. If somebody, a guest, contract, or what have you, needs to come up and use a computer, do we really want them seeing our employees' last names? Probably not. So we'll go ahead and enable this so the last name isn't Joan. And a lot of companies require that you have some kind of message when, uh, when your uh, users log in. So what this does is this sets a title for that message. We'll, we'll just say, warning, something basic. <laughs> of course, it would be a lot more complicated than that if it, this was an actual company, but this is just for testing. Uh, then you next, you'd want to set the message text, and this is the, actually the body of the text. You agree to follow all guidelines set in the company AUP failure to follow said guidelines will result you in going to jail <laughs> it won't say this of course but that that's just kind of a, a sample message yours would be uh, your guidelines and policy set out in your acceptable use policy of your company or whatever your company has decided to do but generally, you, there will be a message set for anybody who's logging in, even administrators, uh, at some some places. So those two are set. And previous logins to cache. This is crucial too. We don't want too many logins to be uh, remembered. Let's do five to make sure things are pretty strict there. It's just a way to increase security. Yes, we do want to prompt them to change their password before it expires because. How many people actually forget to change their passwords? Basically everybody. <laughs> so let's set that to about mm, 10 days before their password expires. So we'll click OK, set that. Let's see what else we want to hear here. Yes, this is a good one to have too. When your users walk away from workstation, they forget to lock it, forget to log out. It's good to have a certain time set. So when there's a certain amount of in inactivity, uh, it will actually log out automatically. So we do want that set too. Let's set it to... Oh, what's a good number? 600 seconds. Good, solid number. Kind of random, but <laughs> let's make sure that's set. And you want to make sure this is not defined because you want control Alt delete to be used when uh, users are logging in. That's just an, another security measure to prevent malware from automatically executing. So you want to make sure that's not defined. Let's see, I think that's the only thing that we're going to define this time. Okay, that should be good. Let's go ahead and push out the, these policies to our workstation. Go to command prompt. Type in our admin user and password. GPU update slash force. Okay, our policy is updated. Let's go ahead and log out. And there's our, there's our warning text and our, our warning uh, text body. Warning, you agree to follow guidelines set in the company UP. That's what we just set just a minute ago. So click OK. And now you'll notice that the last name isn't appearing here. Ah. So let's do, let's do our login information. And there we go. That's some uh, security options you can set. And what will happen is if I'm inactive enough from the system, it will automatically log out. 
So that's some interactive login options just to harden the system and make security a bit better. This is by no means enough, but it's a start. That about wraps it up for this video. This was kind of a quick one, uh, but these group policy videos will be in chunk, so they'll average around five, six minutes. And of course, for the more complicated policies, they'll last a bit longer. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Also, be sure to check out the forum and the podcast, and we'll see you next time.